Hey gang, welcome back. Jane here with another Granny Square tutorial. Today I'm going to show you this pretty little piece I call Sand Dollar. This one got her name simply because I was working with some nice beach vibe colors, and so the Sand Dollar it is. As with all my Granny Squares, I love busting my stash, and they work great in all sorts of color combinations. I think my favorite way to relax is to take a big bin of yarn leftovers and color myself some Granny Squares. So today we're going to be making this sand dollar granny square. It's an octagon, so it has eight sides to it. I use a worsted weight yarn. Again, you can use any weight of yarn with these squares, but I love to work with the worsted weight. And a crochet hook that works with the yarn you're working with. So I am using a 5.5 millimeter because I like to go up a little bit with my squares just to make them a little softer, more flexible, depending on what I'm using them for. I find that for blankets, it's nice to go up a little bit with your hook size than the yarn that you're using. You'll also need some scissors and you may need a darning needle at some point. Well, let's get going on the Sand Dollar Crocheted Octagon. So we're starting with white. You can either do a magic ring or a chain four with a slip stitch. I almost always do the magic ring, but let's try a chain four foundation today. We want to create our slip knot by creating a loop around our finger, flipping it down on top of itself like a pretzel, and then using our hook, we're going to pick up the strand in the middle, pull it up, and then pull both strands so the loop snugs up to our hook. And now I'm going to chain four, two, three, and four. And then I go into my first chain and I just pull the yarn through both, and there is my foundation ring. And I'm going to use this in place of a magic ring. So now for round one, we continue with the white and we're going to chain four. Oops. One, two, three, and four. And this counts as our first double crochet and our chain one. So the first three chains are your double crochet. And then you have the fourth chain is your chain one. So now we do double crochet into the ring. and then a chain one. And we're going to do this 11 times. So that was the first one. And we're going to do it a total of 11 times into this ring. And that's going to give us a total of 12 double crochet and 12 chain one spaces. So a little trick, if you do the chain foundations instead of the magic ring, and you want to cinch up the center, what I do is I work over top of this cut end of yarn all the way around and then at the end I can pull it tight and it cinches up the center. So it gives you the same effect before you darn it in. So go ahead now and do double crochet chain one, do a total of 11 of them in here and then this chain four counts as your 12th one. So I'll see you back here at the end of round one. So here I am back at the end of round one. I have 12, if you count this chain stitch, 12 double crochets and 12 chain ones. And now I want to join my round. So I'm going to join it uh, into the third chain because that would be the top of the double crochet. Pull through the loop on the hook and then cut my yarn because we're going to use a different color every round and pull that through. So that's the end of round one. Now you may want to leave this center the way that it is or if you do like what I do, and I worked over top of this cut end, then you can just pull on the cut end and it cinches up the center. See how the center disappeared there? So it's up to you whether you cinch that up or not. If you do cinch it up, it's best to get your darning needle and continue it around and then go in the opposite direction and then it won't loosen up. Now moving into round two, I want my turquoise. I really love the colors in this square. It's so beachy, which is why I call it my sand dollar. Okay, so in round two, we take color B, which is the turquoise, and we join with a slip stitch in any one of these chain one spaces. So go ahead and choose one and pull up your yarn. And then we want to chain three. This chain three counts as a double crochet. Now double crochet in the same ch chain one space that you just joined in. So now you technically have two double crochet in that first space. 
you're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to work two double crochet in your next chain one space. So go ahead and do two double crochet in that next chain one space. Now you're going to do this all the way around. So these two double crochet, you're going to do that in every single one of these chain one spaces all the way around until you get back to the end of the round and I'll meet you here to join our round. Okay, we're at the end of round two and now we finished our two double crochets. We should have 24 double crochets. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24 double crochet. And then we want to join with a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three because that's the top of our double crochet. And then we can cut our yarn. Oops. Much clankety clank of the scissors. There we go. And we pull our yarn through and we're done round two. So in round three, we're going to move into our golden beige. So we're going to join this color in with a slip stitch in any stitch of the previous round. So any one of these stitches will work. So let's see, let's just join it in here with a slip stitch. And then we want to chain one and we want to single crochet in the same stitch that we just joined in. And then we want to chain two and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So you're not missing any of the stitches. You single crochet joined, joined and single crocheted in this first one. Then you chained two, and now you're going to go back and single crochet in each of the next three stitches, not missing any stitches. So let's do that. Single crochet one, and then another one into the next stitch. And then this is where I joined. So again, remember that you're single crocheting in to that chain. So there's three. And then we're going to chain two. And we're going to do that all the way around. So after we do the chain two, we go right back and work into the next stitch, single crochet, another single crochet, and a third single crochet in one into each of the next three stitches, and then chain two. So keep on doing that all the way around, and I'll meet you back here at the end of round three. Now, before I reach the end of round three, what we did here is the three single crochet and a chain two, but I only have two single crochets left. That's because we started with a single crochet. So we want to work into each of the next two. And then we want to join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. And that will be the end of our round and we cut our yarn. That's the end of round three. So now moving on to round four, I'm going to go back to white. So round four is where the petals happen. I'm going to show you in a different example of this square. This one done in different colors. This white is the next round. So we have the center and now we're going to do these petals. Round four, we join with a slip stitch in any of these chain two spots. So let's see, let's go into this one and we're going to join with a slip stitch and we're going to chain three. Then we're going to work four double crochet into that same chain two space. So remember we're making our petals here. So that's one, two, three and four double crochet. So the chain three, that counts as our first double crochet. And then we work four more. So you actually have a total of five in there. And then you're going to skip the next stitch right here. Remember we have three of them here. You're going to skip the first one, single crochet into the next one. Then you're going to skip the last one. A little confusing here because I started right 
at where I joined. It always looks like there's an extra stitch there, but there isn't. I think one of the reasons I like the invisible join is because I don't have that confusion of the slip stitch. But in this case, I slip stitched it. So we just have to remember there's three stitches in there and we're missing the last one. Then we go and do five double crochet in the chain two. One, two, this white is very much the same color as my background. So very hard to see. <laughs> Can you see what I've done there? I have to put my hand there. So we have five double crochet there and then we move on, skip the first stitch, single crochet in the next of this cluster of three, skip the last stitch and then do another petal in the next chain two space and that involves five double crochet. So I'm going to let you go ahead, five double crochet in the chain two spaces, skip the first of the three, single crochet in the second of the three, skip the last of the three, and then work another petal. You're going to do that all the way around and I'll meet you back here with this last cluster at the end of the round and we'll finish it off. All right, now we have these beautiful little white petals and I have reached the end of my round. So I did a five double crochet here, a single crochet here, and then we skip that last stitch as well. And then we join in the first chain three in the third chain, because that's the top of the double crochet. So we join it there, cut our yarn, and now we've finished round four and you can't see my petals for my white background. A little too much white going on here for me who loves color. So now we're gonna move on to a beige, a little easier to see. So we're ready now for round five, and this is gonna be another set of petals, and the petals are gonna fall in between these white petals. So round five says to join our next color, which uh, is going to be this light beige. We haven't used this one yet and we're going to join with a slip stitch in the third double crochet of the previous round. So go back to where you, you ended the round. So obviously this round was where it began and count in three double crochet, counting the chain three. That's the first one. So the chain three is the first one. Then you have another double crochet and then this one is the one you're gonna work into. So go ahead and put your hook into that one, pull up a loop, that's where we're joining at the top of the first petal. It's the middle double crochet of the group. So you're going to chain one and single crochet in that same stitch. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to skip the next two stitches. So those last two double crochets and you're going to work a five double crochet into this single crochet right here. This little guy you're going to work five double crochet into that. So go ahead and that's one, two, three, four, and five. So that's another petal cluster, just like we did on the previous round. So you got five double crochet into this one single crochet. Then you're going to chain one, you're going to skip the next two stitches, which are the first two double crochets of this petal. And you're going to work into this top one, the third one, and you're going to single crochet. So we're back at what we did here. And now you're going to chain one, skip the next two stitches, which is the last two double crochet of the petal cluster and you're back at the single crochet and you're going to work five double crochet into there. So that's how you're going to work around this entire flower. You're going to work the five double crochet into this single crochet, and then you're going to chain one and work into the top uh, of the cluster, which is the middle double crochet. So you miss two, work into that double crochet, then miss two and start all over. So if that makes sense, you do five double crochet, chain one, single crochet, 
in the top of the double crochet cluster, chain one and start again. So work that all the way around just this little section in each petal and I'll meet you back here at the end of the round. And now we are at the end of round one, two, three, four, five. So we need to, we finished our last cluster, we chained one, and now we slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round and we fasten off. So there you go. A little bit better now that we have some color around that white and we can see that we have these petals and these petals. So now we're ready for round six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Round six is going to be the turquoise and I'm going to start to place a border on here. Lots of yarn going on off to the side here. You can't see my mess. Isn't that the way we always operate? Lots of mess just out of view. Okay. So round six, join our color with a slip stitch in the first chain one space. So I got to go back here to where I finished and started. This right here is the first chain one space of the previous round. See here, we this is where we joined into the single crochet. So this is the first chain one space and that is where we're joining this one. So chain one, single crochet in that same chain one space and then chain one. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch. So skipping over one, single crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to skip the next stitch, which is the center stitch and single crochet in the next one. So this is actually creating um, our corner. This is an eight sided shape. So we got eight of these and then we go uh, chain one, skip your next stitch, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, skip your next stitch, which is that single crochet, the all by itself, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, skip next stitch, single crochet. We're working our way back up to the next corner and now chain three, one, two and three. Skip your next stitch and single crochet in the next. So we just worked across one of our eight edges for our border. So this is one of our corners out of this petal. This is our next corner out of that petal and we're going to continue to do this all the way around each of these sides. So basically this seven more times. So we're going to do it one more time and then I'll leave you to finish it. So we're going to chain one, then we're going to skip a stitch, single crochet into the chain one space. Then you're going to chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the chain one space, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the second double crochet, chain three and then skip a stitch and single crochet into the next double crochet. That's what you're going to do all the way around. So I'll meet you back here at the end of the round. We've reached the end of round six and you can see here I did a single crochet in the chain one space and I did a chain one. Now I just have to join in the first single crochet. So that creates our first border around our sand dollar and I just have one more row to go and I'm going to do it in my nice golden beachy brown and we're going to join our color with a slip stitch in any of these chain three corners. So let's go over here and we're going to pull up a loop, chain one, single crochet in the same chain three space as our join. Then we're going to chain one, skip our next stitch, single crochet in the next chain one space. Then we're going to 
Then we're going to chain one, skip our next stitch, single crochet in that, chain one space, chain one, skip the next stitch. See, we've got a pattern going here and do a single crochet in the chain one and then chain one. And now we've reached our next corner. You reach your corners pretty quick when you have an eight sided figure. What we need to do is single crochet and we're going to do a chain two in this corner and then a single crochet. And that is what we are going to do all the way around. So we do chain one and then we miss a stitch, single crochet in the chain one space. So you're single crocheting in the chain one spaces and chain one and skipping the single crochet stitches of the previous round. So we'll just do that to the next corner. So you can see I'm single crocheting in the chain one spaces, chaining one, skipping the single crochets all the way across until I hit the next chain three. Now I want to work a corner, which is, so I've got my chain one already. I'm going to work a single crochet into that chain three, chain two, and another single crochet. And that creates my next corner. So you can see here, I have this corner and then I work across with chain one single crochets and then I hit my next corner. You're going to do that all the way around all of these sides and I'll meet you back here at the end of the round. So here I am at the end of the round. What I've done is I have, after my last corner, then I just did this chain one single crochets across into those chain one spaces and I've come back to the corner that I joined in. So I chain one after my last single crochet and then I single crochet into that same chain three space I joined in. I chain two and then I join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. That completes the round and I cut off my yarn. And that completes the sand dollar. It's an eight sided figure with a little bit of a border around it. And now I want to inspire you to experiment and play. Try switching up the colors and even change up the borders. I love to try different border treatments on my granny squares as it gives them a little different personality depending on how I finish them. You can see this one I tried a solid single crochet border where rounds six and seven are worked with just a single crochet in every stitch instead of the chain one single crochet that I showed you in this tutorial. So follow your creativity and see what fun combinations you come up with. If you're looking to find more color combinations for my squares, jump on over to my Instagram or my Pinterest where I like to share pictures of all the different colorways that I do these squares in. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun making the sand dollar granny octagon square shape. You can find more info on this piece over on my website. You can find the link in the description below. Remember, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified of all new tutorials as they come out. Enjoy, and I'll catch you in my next tutorial.